Hi, I'm Guy from Scoop. Configurations of Microtech devices can seem daunting to anybody just starting out. However, Microtech commands a strong global market share precisely because of the granular control you can exercise. The tech community loves their creative approach to finding different ways of doing things. If you're new to Microtech, we'll help you overcome these initial hurdles and welcome you into a world of networking possibilities. In this video, we'll delve into a portion of Microtech configuration that many have used, but perhaps not many have fully explored yet, Quickset. If you just powered on your Microtech router and opened your browser to 192.168.88.1, congrats, you're in the right place. You're looking at Quickset, and it's the fastest way to get your router online. Quickset is a simplified setup wizard built into Microtech routers. It's designed to help you get connected quickly, securely, and without needing a degree in networking. So why would you use Quickset? Well, it gives you all the essential settings like Wi-Fi, internet, and security in one easy page. No hunting through the menus to find that one setting and no confusing jargon or terminologies. Depending on your router model, Quickset offers different modes. For most users, you'll want to use Home AP or Home AP Dual if you have dual band Wi-Fi. Let's take a look at all the options available. Home AP or Home AP Dual. This selection is best for home use. This is just router mode with a decent firewall and Wi-Fi configured. CAP, otherwise known as ceiling access point. This is used when there is a CAP manager controlling the CAPs on the network. The device will pull the necessary settings from the CAP manager. CPE or client premises equipment. CPE mode is used with managed networks or wireless bridges. Basically, it's client mode and allows connection to a wireless access point. Home Mesh, for building a multi-AP Wi-Fi system with wireless redundancy. As the name implies, it's used for easy Microtech mesh network configs. PTP or point-to-point -point AP or bridge. This is for linking remote sites via long-range wireless links. Typically, we use these for outdoor deployments. WISP, or Wireless Internet Service Provider AP. WISP is similar to Home AP, but uses the wireless interface as the WAN connection instead of Ethernet. Let's take a quick look at the wireless settings. This is where you set the details of your Wi-Fi network. Network name or SSID. This is what your devices will see when looking for an AP to connect to. Frequency and band. Usually, this is left on auto. It's to change the connection standards or the frequency at which the AP will broadcast. Use access list. This is optional. You can limit access to devices, for example, by specifying a MAC address. Wi-Fi password is used to connect to the SSID. Always ensure that you have a strong one. WPS accept. This is for devices like printers to connect to the network with the press of a button. Guest network. We use this for visitor connections, but they are isolated from the rest of the network. Only internet access is provided for guests. Let's move on to the internet section. This portion is what connects your router to your modem or ISP. Port. Here we specify which interface is being used to connect to your modem or ONT. Usually it's ethernet port one. Address acquisition. By default, this is set to DHCP, but can be changed depending on what your ISP requires in order to get an IP for internet access. MAC address. We only change this if your ISP says so. This is usually only done if there is a need to bypass brand restrictions. Firewall router. When configuring your router, always keep this on for security. It will automatically configure a firewall with several entries to ensure safe connection and prevent intruders from entering your network. The default that is applied is usually quite secure. Next, the local network section. This controls how devices inside your network connect and communicate. IP address. The default is 192.168.88.1. Change this if you would prefer the router to have a different LAN IP. Netmask. Leave this option at 255.255.255.0 for most home setups. This is the subnet dictating the range of IPs available for the LAN. Bridge all LAN ports puts all LAN interfaces into a software bridge and allows them to communicate with one another. DHCP server. For routers, keep this enabled. 
it automatically hands out IP addresses to your devices. NAT or Network Address Translation. Leave this on unless your ISP provides public IPs to all of your devices. This hides your internal network behind the public IP that you get from the ISP. This provides yet another layer of security and privacy. Universal Plug and Play enables automatic port forwarding for UPnP enabled devices. Only turn this option on if you know you need it. For example, for NAS devices or gaming consoles. A few extra options that the Quick Set provides which might be helpful are as follows. VPN access. This will allow you to securely access your home network remotely via built-in VPN support. It provides a domain, username, and lets you set your own password. Great for users who always need access to resources on their private network. System updates. You can check for and install the latest Router OS updates with a click of a button. Keeping the unit up to date provides better security and bug prevention. Admin password. Here, yeah, you can set a secure password for accessing your router's configuration page. To sum it all up, QuickSet is the fastest and easiest way to set up your Microtech router. It's beginner friendly, powerful enough for most home setups, and it just works. When you're ready for more advanced features, WebFig and Winbox are just a click away. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. And happy networking.